Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are looking at mathematics, which is 20, 2019 paper 1, under earth geometry. We have this question. Uh, if it is uh, 820 at A, at A, what time is it at C? This is C here. So for you to understand, uh, for you to find the time, you have to know the time it takes from east to west and from west to east. If you can see, uh, this pose is only sided into east side. So we are moving from this pole to this pole. So we are going to take uh, this pole, which is 95 east and 20 east, because it is in the same direction, which means we are going to subtract for A, so let's take it here, solution, for A, for A we are going to subtract 95, 95 degree minus 20 because it is in the, because it is in the same pole in which we are going to have 75. Then we have to know uh, how many hours are in 75. So we all know that uh, one, one hour represent 15 degree. What about the hour we don't know? And the degree we have are 75 degree here. So which means when you cross multiply, you are going to have uh, 15x equals 75. When you divide by 15, by 15, then x it is 5. So that means... We have 5 hours in 75 degree. So what you have to do, you have to add from this time which we have here, which is 0, 8, 20 plus 5 hours, in which we are going to have 8 plus 5, which is uh, 13. So it will be 13, 20 hours. That should be time at the C. So now let's find uh, for B. A plane flows from A to B. From A to B. At a speed of 400 uh, knots. How long does it does the journey take if AB is equal to uh, 48? For you to prove that uh, this uh, distance it is 48. The... They added, this is B, they added, we have 60 and 20 east. We have 60 north plus 20 degree east, which is equals to 80. So we all know that, uh, then this degree which we have, you have to multiply it. For you to find AB, you have to multiply it, 80 degree multiplied by 60 degree 60 because one not comp one not comma it is equals to 60 degree so in which it will be equals to 48 800 not comma that's how they found uh, this distance here so let's take it here for b we all know that uh, speed because we asked to find how long does it take so we asked to find the time because we are given uh, the speed and the distance. So speed equals distance over time. When we make t the subject of the formula, we are going to cross multiply. We have s t equals d. Then you, you divide by s by s, in which t it will be equals to d. We have uh, 4800 not co mouse divided by uh, speed we have 400 400 400 not in which we are going to divide 4 into 48 it will be 12 to 48 you are going to have 12 which is 12 hours that's it how long it take for it to cover the distance of this one in this speed. 
for B and for for A we have thirteen twenty hours. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for the next time you see the new update.